Someone who has expressed her desire to be a mom one day is WWE superstar Nikki Bella. Yes. It was an issue that actually factored into her breakup with ex-fiance John Cena. And while Nikki may be back on the dating scene, she and John are in constant contact. Nikki told People Magazine that she tells John every detail of her dating life, including debriefs about the date she goes on. And while she says John doesn't always return the favor, she says she does it because she'd rather hear him hear these things from her and not from another party. Mm. So ladies, do you think sharing details about your ex, about your love life is actually a good idea? With your ex, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. With your ex. Yeah. I think it's important. That's weird. Yeah. I think it's important to note that last part you just read about what she's saying. She's a public figure. She's got millions and millions of fans and people that pour into her life. Mm -hmm. And so when you hear something from a third party, which it's happened to me, things get misconstrued and then people act on that emotion and start being a different way and then you just lose the connection that you once had when it comes to the respect that you had with yourself. That said, if it's amicable and you've ended on that note, I think it's an amazing, mature place if you are completely free of any emotional ties, number one, if you really do wish the best for the other person and you really, in a healthy way, want to move on to find what's happy for you, absolutely it's okay to make sure you hear it from me first. Okay. I think they're still in love, but that's just me. I think that could be, you know, and that's a separate issue. The difference between you and Nikki is that you were married. She wasn't. He dumped her. Forget that. You don't owe him <laughs> nothing. Yep. Go on, move on with your life. That's it. You know what I mean? And it's just... he's not reciprocating it. Yeah. So I would feel weird telling him all about my issues right. and on my date, but he's not telling me anything. But what but if you're you... doing it? Are you doing it for him? Or are you doing it for me? See, See for that's me, to her point. I'm saying I would do it for me because I want a clear conscience. I don't want anybody else talking about my life but me. You hear but it from every my boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. I, but I, you were married. Yeah. You yeah. were married. Need to know. I had a similar situation to this. I actually broke up with a guy. Kay. I broke up with him, and then. He would call me and talk to me about his dates. And no, I was I was fine. Because he mm -hmm. still liked you, that's why. And she but, still yep. likes him. So that is a motive. You know. And I would talk Always to him. Always a motive. Like, that girl is a nice girl, or like he would have situations. But one time I will never forget a girl that he was seeing was going on a trip to Puerto Rico with an NFL mm -hmm. player. But she said that the the girls that she was going with that one of them was dating him. So I actually knew somebody that knew the NFL player. So I went and did a little bit of the digging for him. And no, the girl was cheating on... What team did he play on... for? It was New York teams. But like I said, and the point oh, is, too. the girl what uh, was cheating on him. <laughs> so I was able to tell him, but I wasn't a hater. There was other girls mm -hmm. that I was like, no, that's a good girl. Be good to her. Be kind to her. Like, be a better guy that, than you were to me. And we had a great, we had like a great like friendship that. going on. There was nothing there. But I will say, there was a part of him that did still always want to get back with me. Exactly. And I think it was a way for him to communicate mm -hmm. with me. Exactly. So I think in this case, it still might be similar. And maybe That's she's thinking... That's the only thinking... time where my thing doesn't apply. You can't have ties, and you can't... You have to also be mutual about that. It has yeah, to be mutually respected be... that both people are like, Who I'm good. sharing dates with somebody else and you was with the other person? She debriefs person. him just... on it. Like, yeah, that's... that's... I, maybe she's hoping that, like, he'll hear this or and maybe reminisce. maybe he'll get jealous. Exactly. Maybe he'll maybe get he'll jealous. Get, maybe he'll so get that's... jealous and be like, damn, I want that old thing back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it could happen. Yeah, it could.